morning guys, Corey here from Sky's the Limit Car Care and today we're going to talk about wheels and specifically tire cleaning and protection. So we're going to start today by talking about some of the contaminants that you deal with on wheels and some of the reasons why people don't really enjoy cleaning wheels and what you can do to make this a more fun experience for yourself. Uh, it really all comes down to the tools and the products that you have on hand for cleaning wheels. For instance, if you don't have the right brushes and the right products, then it's really a dirty job and a lot of work trying to get your hands in there to clean the barrels and all of that. So what you need is the correct brushes um, and that's going to make all the difference in the world. So uh, the Microfire Madness Increta brush, this is the old version I've got here. Uh, we don't have the, for the fully formed handle on this old version, but uh, needless to say, it's lasted a long time. A great brush. This is what I'm going to use for the majority of the, uh, of the wheel barrel. Um, the only time that I'm going to use a different brush on there is with the Easy Detail. I usually like to use an Easy Detail Mini, which is a bit smaller than this one, but this will work all the same. And what I like this for is to bend it like that to get back around the back of that barrel. The other option, if you don't have one of these handy, is the Increta Flare which we're also going to use. That's also from Microfire Madness, just like the Increta brush. And again, you have this thumb, the mid ambidextrous, and you can just wrap that whole thing around the, around the spoke and get the back of it pretty well with this. So between those three tools, you can get pretty much every part of the uh, car you need. And then finally, you have the, um, the lug nut brush. The uh, lug nut brush, uh, this one's from CarPro, and we won't really use that here, but it works great. Uh, we don't have any lug nuts exposed, but uh, what we do have is little tight corners like that, and so anywhere that we miss a spot, we might come back and hit that. Generally, the Increta brush flat, the one we've got out here, will get into those areas and, and work so well with this wheel that I won't even need this on this, but um, I did want to point that out. And then finally, for the cleaning of the tire, we have the tire brush, this low profile tire brush, so we can get in here without scratching the rim, and that is pretty much everything we have for the tools. As far as the products go, We've got our Tuga wheel cleaner. If you haven't used this, it's an absolute must try. Uh, anybody that switches to this does not switch away from it. Um, that's gonna remove all those nasty contaminants and dirt and everything and make it really easy to come off without any hard, without any hard work. Just a light brushing with these tools and everything's just gonna come right off. Uh, next we have the retire. That's what we have in the dilute bottle there. That retire is what we're gonna use to clean the, uh, the rubber, the tire. And then finally, to avoid any uh, flash rust on the uh, rotors, we're going to spray our Hyde's rust stopper on there and wipe that off when we're done. Um, uh, the reset we have there, that's what we have in the bucket. And then the dark side is what we're going to use to dress the actual tire itself. And we'll talk a little bit about protecting the wheel itself as well. Um, finally, to dry it off, you can use the Increta brush to get inside of the uh, barrel and put, there's a drying cover that you can use on it, but we have our Metro Master Blaster out here, and that's my preferred option for drying the wheel because you can dry everything really fast and really good with no water spots left behind. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and talk a little more about the contamination, and then we'll get into the demo. So as far as contaminants and dirt go, obviously your wheels are the first thing that touches the ground. Um, that's where a ton of dust and dirt is gonna be stirred up, you know, wherever you go, especially on dirtier roads. Um, tar is going to get spit up on there sometimes, but the biggest contaminant that you really have to worry about is brake dust. Um, obviously you have two pieces of steel hitting each other and that is going to create little tiny pieces of brake dust that are going to be flying off all the time. So you commonly, if you don't have Tuga on hand and you have Reset and Iron X, you can get, a, you can get these things cleaned up pretty easily in most cases. Um, but the Tuga is going to do the job of both the Iron X and the Reset, so that's why I prefer the Tuga on the, on the wheel. Um, basically, that's going to dissolve the brake dust, the little embedded pieces of steel that are stuck to the surface, and then it's also going to loosen the dirt and make everything just come right off. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and move into the demo phase, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the products and the process. First step, of course, is to rinse the rinse the wheels and the wheel barrels and the wheel wells. Next we're going to clean the wheels. I like Tuga wheel cleaner for that. Uh, some people do use 
um, really heavy uh, wheel cleaners like uh, acidic wheel cleaners, stuff like that. That's something that you want to shy away from unless you really know what you're doing. Um, you can cause some serious damage quickly. Whereas as long as you use this correctly, it's a lot easier to, or a lot more difficult to cause damage with something like Tuga wheel cleaner. So with anodized wheels, obviously you want to be really careful with anything that you apply. I'm, I'm hesitant to recommend any type of cleaner on anodized wheels. With that, you want to be very, very careful, but that's a rare uh, wheel finish. Generally, you're dealing with powder coated or clear coated or chrome or aluminum. All these uh, typical wheel finishes are 100% safe with the Tuga Devil wheel cleaner. So um, you can feel rest assured utilizing that product with just about any wheel finish out there. Uh, first, you obviously want to rinse the wheel like we did. That gets off any excess dirt. Um, you don't want the product to have to try to eat through the stuff that would have just come off with sand or would have just come off with water. And then now we can go ahead and spray the wheel cleaner on and we're going to, uh, we're going to be able to let it eat at the, uh, the brake dust and the, the dirt and contaminants. So you obviously want to get the face of the rim, get some in the barrel, get the brake pads and the calipers. And then you're basically just going to let it sit there for uh, about a minute. Um, depending on your climate, if it's real warm where you're at um, or the humidity is such that things dry really fast, then you can spray a little more on there to, to keep it awake. So next step, we let that dwell for a minute. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, dunk our brushes in our soapy water here. And you can get the barrel and the spokes all at the same time with the uh, Incredibrush flat like this. You just basically go around, back and forth inside. And I'll leave the face. You'll notice I'm not spending any time on really the faces of it, but I am getting into the corners because that's easy for me to knock out on the way out. And then we'll come back for the faces with that Incredi Flare and reach back around it. That way we don't miss any spots. The thing I love about the Incredi Brush, or one of the things, is the, the knuckle guard here so I don't have any metal or anything like that. There's no metal. That stainless steel is covered in plastic. There's no metal hitting the wheel at any point, which can easily scratch your wheel finish. And then this is the old version of the Incredit Brush Flat. The new one has it all one component. It looks really a lot more sleek and more ergonomic. But this one works just fine, so I hate to waste anything. I still use my old brush. It's lasted all these years. So here you can see the new version of the Incredit Brush. And this has the molded grip, so you can wrap your fingers right around there and then the built-in knuckle guard as well. So to get the rest of the wheel, we're gonna go ahead and just hit it with the uh, Incredi Flare. And then while this is still wet, to get the back of the uh, rims, I think I got everything with that Incredi Flare, but this is what a lot of people will do depending on the rim, is use the uh, Easy Detail or Easy Detail Mini and that you can bend to however you want it and get back there. I don't generally like using this on the entire wheel because if you, when you go like that and you go to pull it back out, you'll see how it spits the liquid back out at you. You have to move it real slow in order to do that. So you're better off moving it back and forth like that. But again, I don't like how it spits the wheel cleaner all over me. I don't want that all over my skin. And, uh, and then I also don't like that I have a metal, you know, there's metal down in there that I don't want that rubbing on the finish. If, if used correctly, it won't but it's still something you gotta keep in mind. So for me, I can get everything I want on these rims, particularly with this. In some cases, you might need the Easy Detail brush. Uh, I do like to use the retire, um, the rubber, while the cleaner is still sitting here, and that I just want these to be wet um, while, I, uh, while I have the retire, in case any of it drips down onto the finish. The retire is very strong, and you're better off um, having something there to dilute it with before the, uh, before it can cause any damage to your finish. Generally, it won't cause damage to your finish, but you do want to be cautious of that and take all the precautions you can whenever you're working with a cleaner. So it's a foam, so it's easy to spray on like that. If you get some on your um, finish there, you've got some time, but if you're not sure how sensitive your finish is, then just go ahead and rinse that back off and dilute that. 
Another technique that we've shown in our retire video is to just spray it directly on the brush like that, and then you can control exactly where it's going. The thing I love about retire is it pulls the dirt off. You can see before we even started scrubbing, it started pulling all the dirt and just melting it right off. And so obviously it's a great cleaner for tires. And once you don't, don't get any more brown coming off of there, then you know that you've really gotten them clean. One brush we forgot to bring out here for this video was for our, um, our wheel wells, but that's okay. I can use the Increda brush on that as well. So no big loss there. Just shows off more of the functionality with our Increda brush. That's one of the coolest things about the Increda brush and all the Increda fiber tools for Microfire Madness is the versatility. So it cleans really easy, grabs all the dirt really easy, but it's also super soft. So usually you kind of have to choose out of the two. You know, sometimes you can have a, a fabric or a material that's really gentle on the surface, but it's not going to pull the dirt off of wheels, wells, and stuff like that. In this case, we can really grab, we can really do both with one tool. If you have like a fabric uh, wheel well, then you're better off with a brush type of uh, um, wheel well brush, like that but longer basically is what we, what we use. But uh, with smooth plastic like this, there's really nothing that's going to clean it better than the Increda brush. So final step is protection. So for the uh, wheel barrels, the faces of the wheels and the wheel wells. I love Hydro Light because it's super easy to apply. We're literally just going to spray it on. Make sure the surface is wet first. So we just spray, spray, spray. And spray the face. Spray the barrel. You can get it on all the components, the caliper, everything. That's way more than you need. And then you just rinse it right back off. So in a pinch, if you don't have time to dress your tires, you could also just easily spray it on your tires. It's not going to darken them and everything like a uh, dark side will, but it'll at least give them a little protection and make them easier to clean. So next step, we're gonna go ahead and just dry all this off. Um, like I said, you could use a uh, Increda brush with a drying cover and a towel and all that, but we're gonna go ahead and use the Metro Master Blaster because as you'll see, it's far easier. For the final step, I want to go ahead and protect the rubber. Uh, the dark side does come with a pump, but I like to just tilt the bottle and get a little on like that. Based on our uh, testing so far, it should stay looking like this, even if you're driving through rain and stuff for about a month. Uh, after that, it's going to start to dwindle a little bit, depending on the environment that you're driving in. Uh, one thing that you want to be cognizant of uh, after you apply this to the tires is they do need some curing time. It's not quite as long as uh, C-Quartz uh, for the paint, but you do want at least an hour or two before you drive it in the rain. All right, guys, that's everything for today. Um, if you have any particular questions about your wheels or tires in particular, never hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email. The uh, contact information is in the notes below. If you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to do so. That really helps us keep up uh, making good videos for you and uh, giving you a lot of uh, information and education on the products that we offer and the service. Um, if you have any comments or questions below, we'll be sure to answer those within the next 24 hours. We really appreciate you guys watching and we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.